All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another sneaker review video. And in today's video, I will be... So here's the thing. I exchanged uh, the Cool Gray 11 Comforts because they... So they just didn't really sit too well with me because... So I went out and I got me the uh, the Bread Comforts because it has, it has this patent leather. And I'm like, that's the one thing that I love a lot about the Air Jordan 11s is this patent leather. It stands out, it's different, and it makes... The other ones, I'm like, okay, I definitely see that being like a new age, like Air Jordan 11 and stuff where they change up some minor details about it. But with this, it does make it feel like that you have like a prototype 11. Like this was like one of the many ones that they would probably it is um probably it is like these are one of the many ones that they uh came together like this idea and stuff but then they decided that they were going to go with the um actual air jordan 11s but it's just with that other one where it's like where it has that um suede like suede -ish material and or some i think it was like suede but that material i'm like suede and i don't really i like to stay away from suede material shoes like this one has like either this is like new buck or it is like some synthetic um suede but it's like it's just that part and um other than that like but yeah this patent leather it's like you know this is i feel like this is much more easier to clean like in case it gets like scratched up or dirty or something like you could clean that very like you know easily rather than with the suede i remember i got these um what is it it was these uh wipes and uh to like clean your shoes and i think i remember reading it was like you can't use them on uh on like suede material shoes suede new buck but it was like patent leather i think was it was in the clear so i overall like the patent leather on these shoes but anyways um yeah so pretty much same specs like i said i said in the last video uh where i was talking on these shoes and there's really no like um, real difference in the uh like you know overall like does it feel different with the suede and, and like you know is there a difference between the suede and the patent leather no and the crazy thing about it is that i tried these shoes on um and these are a size 10 now i do remember in wear testers video he did say that um these shoes run big and they do they honestly they they do run big but i thought it was gonna be like some timberland type stuff where it's like you're gonna have to go down like a whole size in them shoes I thought it was going to be a, like very wobbly and things when wearing them. I put these shoes on. They feel absolutely fine. And I'm like, that's, you know, it's crazy that they feel like that. And I don't know. Maybe it's just my feet just, I don't know. Maybe I got some Mr. Fantastic type stuff going on. But anyways, um, yeah, a size 10, they fit me fine. So I would recommend, I would recommend trying out a size 10 and seeing if you like that. But if you can't find a size 10, then you very well can go to a nine and a half. And then if that's too big go to a nine like nine will probably be the like perfect size and then a nine and a half will probably be like okay you know just give me a little bit of space and then 10 is like it's like give me give me space okay a little bit of space with a nine and a half give me just give me space with the 10 but other than that i like these a lot better now these i will get um give a 10 out of 10 because yeah because it just it's you know the patent lever well I guess, you know, people be like, nah, don't give it a 10. They, like, find something. I think the only thing that I would like to see from this shoe in the future is if they come out with a high-top version. So I would like to see, like, in the winter time, they come out with a high-top version of these shoes. And, you know, yeah, just have it where it's, like, um, just add, like, a little, like, make them where it's, like, 150 or something. But it looks, it looks just like uh you know like some like actual like air jordan 11s because i mean i don't mind like low top because i the one um air jordan 11s that i have those snakeskin low tops that came out a few years ago i wear those it doesn't even matter i will wear those out when it's cold outside when it's hot outside it don't matter what time of the season it is fall summer winter spring i will wear those shoes whenever okay so and it's gonna be like that with these shoes because i was like yeah you know with the patent leather it's like something gets on the shoes you can clean it with that suede it's like i can see right now I'll wear those shoes out in the winter and they'll get dirty pretty fast and it's like yeah also with that um it, it's just you know you're it's just it will be easier to clean these shoes um rather than the cool gray ones but i do like the cool grays i just wish that the leather um or you know the the main part of the like air jordan 11s was uh patent leather instead of because even on the original cool grays hold on for a second let me pull those up real quick cool gray 11s 
They said them shoes is coming out there. Yeah, but it's like they got it where it's like it has the patent leather and stuff. So that's why I'm like, they look, they promoting them comfort ones. Dang, it's like Dick Sporting Goods sells them. Nike sells them. But yeah, let's go on StockX. Dang, them shoes came out in 2010. That's why they're releasing them shoes at the end of the year. Them shoes hadn't came out in a long time. But these are what the actual like um, cool gray 11s look like. So you see how it has that patent leather? It was pretty much like, that looked like suede on the side. And it that's it was this material it looks like. But it's, um, it, it was it's, it was like the patent leather. And then it was like a leather. It, it pretty much it looked like this. It was like the leather material and stuff. But um, it just didn't seem like a cool gray. Like, it, it just didn't seem like an actual cool gray and stuff. So that's why I was like, man, you know, I wish they would have, uh, they, they would have, like, did something, like, you know, different or kind of had it where it looked just like the cool grays. And I probably would have still kept them. But they don't. And that's why I'm like, I don't, you know, I didn't really, I didn't want them anymore. I was just like, yeah, I'll just go and exchange them for the breads. But that was a detail that I noticed with these shoes. And it kind of reminds me of the uh, the um, the 2012 editions of the Bread 11s. But if you guys like pay attention to the um, the Jumpman sign and the uh, back, notice how it's facing this way on the uh, uh, right shoe, and on this um, one it's facing. Usually they face the same way. And I'll show you with these ones. They're facing. Are they facing? I think they are facing. Yeah, they're facing the same way. So. It, but on the uh, the tw um, 2012 editions, they wasn't facing the same way. And it was like Jordan's, um, I guess like um, it was just Jordan's version of the Bread 11s. They looked just like those Bread 11s, but they just, the Jordan sign was different. And then instead of having the Nike uh, logo in the inside and stuff, um, it was the Jumpman logo. And um, with here, it does, it does have the Jumpman logo. So you can tell that this is a just, it, it is a Jordan shoe. And then it has the uh, comfort going inside of it. So, yeah, but overall, I do like these shoes. Very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Like on a scale from 1 to 10 on the comfort, it's probably like a like an 8 or a 9 and stuff or something. You know, it's it's like I was expecting like my I always want like my feet to just sink in and just get wrapped around the cushioning and stuff. But I'm like, hey, this is like the closest thing to it and stuff. So that's one thing about patent leather. They, they do get pretty dusty and stuff. So if you let them sit, if you let these uh, bad boys sit on the uh, shelf for a little bit, yeah, they will get a little bit dusty. So I would recommend get you a little duster and uh, <laughs> dust the shoes off if they get too dusty. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Um, thank you guys for watching the sneaker review video. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. If you have any questions about these shoes, feel free to comment them below. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.